You can look at the menu, but you just can't eat. You can feel the cushions, but you can't have a seat. You can dip your foot in the pool, but you can't have a swim. You can feel the punishment, but you can't commit the sin. And you want her, and she wants you. We want everyone, and you want her, and she wants you. No one, no one, no one ever is to blame. You're the fastest runner, but you're not allowed to win Some break the rules, and if they count the cost The insecurity is the thing that won't get lost And you want her, and she wants you We want everyone, and you want her, and she wants you But no to blame You can see the summit yes, you can't reach it It's the last piece of the puzzle But you just can't make it fit Doctor says you're cured But you still feel the pain Aspirations in the clouds But your hopes go down the drain And you want her And she wants you Here are chord charts for the chords that are needed for the song. I drew out all the different inversions of the different positions that I play these chords in. If you'll notice, there's the similar chords played in different positions. So you have an A on the 9th, an A on the 5th, an open A, E on the 7th, open E, D on the 10th, an open D, and a D on the 5th. You'll also need a C sharp minor on the 4th, a B minor on the 2nd, B minor on the 7th, F sharp minor on the second, F sharp minor on the ninth, and a B major on the second. Let's look at some of these chords on the guitar. So you have your A here. The intro A is going to be based off of this shape. You have an A here that we're going to play. And also open A. So there's three A's, different positions, but they're all the same chord, A major. Okay, then you have D. D here on the fifth. D on the tenth. I'm going to play it in this smaller shape. This one on the fifth, I can change it to this position. So that's the bar chord shape. And then you have this kind of bottom three note shape. Also an open D. E, same thing. There's one on the seventh here that we're going to play. And then open E. We've got a C sharp minor, B minor, and a B minor here on the seventh that we're going to manipulate into a seventh. Then we have an F-sharp minor down here on the second, an F-sharp minor on the ninth too, and then a B major here on the second. And those are the basic chords needed. We're going to manipulate some of these chords into different chords, but th that's the fundamental versions of all the chords. Here's how the intro sounds.
Let's look at this intro by playing a really basic version of it to get started learning it. So it starts off with chords that are up here on the ninth fret. So you have an A chord in this shape, of which you're going to be playing the bottom three notes for starters. You have a D shape up here on the tenth fret. So this is a bar chord, the bottom four notes of it on the tenth fret. And then you have an E chord, okay, this E bar chord on the seventh. You're just going to play these notes in the second, third, and fourth strings up here on the ninth fret. That's all you need. So you can go back to that A chord to finish. So the most basic way to play it sounds like this. So what I've done there is I started with the A and I've added that suspended note before taking it off. So what I'm playing is open fifth string, third string, second string, first string with a note on the tenth fret, and then taking that note off, so I'm hitting that ninth fret note again. So once again on the A, it sounds like this. And then I land on a D chord. And when I land on that D chord, I hit the open fifth string and the third string. And then I move on to the E from there. So when I play that E, I'm playing 5, 4, 3, and then I'm adding suspended 4th there, which is the 2nd string note on the 10th fret. Taking it off, and then I land on the A. And when I land on the A, I'm playing the 2nd string and the 5th string at the same time. So once again, this basic version of the intro will sound like this. Okay, so that basic version hits all the signature notes. Now, you can make that intro a little more complicated by arpeggiating some of the chords in between those signature notes. I'm going to talk about that right now. What you can do to add a little more complexity to that intro is arpeggiate some of the chords after you've uh, formed them. So what you can do is start off with the A, land on the D like we talked about by grabbing the fifth and third strings, and now you can arpeggiate that chord. So what I've done there is two, four, three, two, four, three, two. Okay, so what that would sound like is and then I go to the E and then land on the A and then I can arpeggiate that chord. So what I've done there, when I hit that A chord, is 4, 3, 2, 4, and then I'm dropping down here to the 9th fret on that 4th string, and then back up to the 11th fret of the 4th string. So once again, that part from the E sounds like this. And then I bring it back. So once again, the intro with the arpeggio sounds like this. Let's look at the first verse, because the first verse starts off very slow, and there's some f signature notes that I'm trying to pick up in that section. So let's take a look. You can look at the menu, but you just can't eat. You can feel the cushions, but you can't ever see. So what I'm doing there is I'm starting off actually on this A on the ninth fret. And I'm striking the fifth and first strings at the same time. Twice. And then I'm going down this E, hitting a sixth string and first string, and then arpeggiating. 2nd string, 1st string, then I go down to the D, hitting open 4th string and 1st string, 2nd string and 1st string again, and then I go down to the walk down of the D, C sharp minor, B minor, to the A. So that first verse is very slow, and I think it picks up those signature notes. There's 
another high note you can add to the third line. It sounds like this. You can dip your foot in the pool, but you can't ever swim. You can feel the punishment, but you can't commit the sin. So what I've done there is I've again started with this A on the ninth, and I'm plucking strings five and one, and then immediately I'm going to five and one, except this time I'm playing the seventeenth fret up here, this high A note. And then back down to the E, same pattern, D, same pattern. So it's just that one line, if you notice on the song, they go to that high note. Let's talk about the part that leads into the verses. It sounds like this. So there's two ways to play this. One way is the piano way that I'll call, and the other way is the guitar way. So in the song, when it starts off, just the piano plays it alone, so that's what it sounds like. So my focus is on that fourth string, and I'm playing the second fret, fourth fret, and then seventh fret. And the pattern is like. And of course, the chords are A, slide down to F sharp minor, and then open E. So that's the piano way to play it. And then when the song picks up a little bit, you're going to hear a guitar that comes in. And you can. Uh, mimic some of that guitar parts in this section by um, playing a little differently. So it'll sound like this. So the difference there is after I hit the A bass note, I slide up and make this A up here on the ninth. And of course, I hit the open A again, and I'm sliding it down. So it's just like a sharp slide from that ninth fret A chord. And then the same thing with the F sharp minor and E. But then instead of playing, I'm playing a power chord, okay, and a fifth chord which is 4th uh, string on the 2nd fret and 4th fret on the 3rd string. So that's E, basically. I'm sliding it up 2 frets, so now I'm at 4 and 6. It's an A, so E, F sharp, A. And when you do the guitar part, you're hitting it 4 times. So it's like... note you can add to the E chord when you're going into the chorus uh, sounds like this. And you want and she wants you. So what I've done there is I've taken one on that line want her. I've taken that second string note on the second fret. It's basically an E6 you're turning it into. Want her on that word want. So I play like want her. So just a little note you can throw in to spice it up. Let's talk about the B minor chord on the line, no one is ever to blame. It sounds like this. No one ever is to blame. So what I'm doing there is I'm strumming a B minor chord and then turning it into a B minor seventh. And I'm arpeggiating four, three, two before landing on the E chord. And then I finish up with quick hit of that B note up here in the 7th before going into I'm trying to emulate the piano in that song so once again it sounds like no one ever is to blame 
just wanted to present a couple ways to end the song. So at the end of the song, you're playing that intro slash outro part again, and it goes to the E. You can end it on an A like that, or you can end it by strumming a full A, or there's a little bass line that plays too if you listen to, to the recording. And that little bass line is, um, I'm playing an open fifth string, and on the fourth string, I'm doing a uh, hammer on and pull off from the seventh fret to the ninth fret. Just like that. So it sounds like. So just some options to end the song.